Hi, what we're doing now is looking at a type of seahorse called sea dragons. I'm going to do mine nice and big with A3 paper. I have an eraser, a pencil. I'm going to go over my main lines with marker. I'm going to do my colours with a range of coloured pencils, greens and yellows. And I'm going to use watercolour paint. If you don't have A3 paper, A4 is fine. Okay, let's have a look at sea dragons. I'm going to attach this PowerPoint. So sea dragons are found in this area of South Australian waters. There is the weedy sea dragon, which is more common, and the spectacular leafy sea dragon. They're very, very rare. They're a protected species. If you even find a dead one washed up on the beach, it's illegal to keep them. Um, the fine is 5,000 Aussie dollars if you take one home. I worked it out. US $3,810. If you bought a Burger King meal for $8, that's 476 meals at Burger King. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm attaching a link to a video. This is called The Amazing Adventures of Gavin, a leafy sea dragon. There's a YouTube link. It goes for 16 minutes. I'd like you to watch the video and I'd like you to post in the comments what you thought was the most interesting thing you learned. Okay, let's draw. Okay, so I'm going to start with the eye. I'm making sure I'm not doing it too big. I don't want to run out of room. And here we go. There's a little ridge in front. And I'm coming down to the snout. And there's a tiny little bit that looks like seaweed coming off. Now, uh, we might simplify this. Under the chin, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's another little nodule that looks like seaweed. The whole thing with these animals is they float around in the kelp forests pretending to be seaweed and any little small fish that comes near their mouth gets sucked in. One of the disadvantages they have is they, they don't curl their tail so they can't hold on when there's a storm. That's the most common accident that befalls them is they get swept onto the beach in storms. Okay, I've done the top of his head. He's got this neck pouch. The first of his neck spikes. On the other side. Now we're coming up to this crown spike. So there's one nodule. It goes up and out. Little knob. One. Okay, coming to the crown. One, two, three. That's the first horn. Second horn. Third horn. And the final one. This has lots of branches though. Okay, now we're ready for the shape of his body. That's so going to come around. Stop, leave space for that dorsal fin. Around, and then we've got one, two, big tail spikes. And uh, this is the end of his tail. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video. I really do have amazing camouflage. 
Now coming around and doing the bottom of the tail, it's got these little nodules, unlike other seahorses, leafy sea dragons, this part is where the male carries the eggs. With normal sea, sea horses, um, there's a pouch inside the belly and the female lays eggs inside. With sea dragons, the female lays her eggs along the tail. The male carries them. And when they hatch, they float off looking like little pieces of seaweed. Okay, here we go. One of the tail fins. Coming down. This is their biggest back fin. Okay, and behind it, I'm going to do few lines this it's more like a normal fish fin okay we're up to the front part I'm gonna just trace the shape and down here they have two quite large fins one Second one coming down. They're really beautiful creatures. The males are a little bit more ornate than the females. They're notoriously difficult to keep and breed. Um, I believe, even though it is illegal to keep one, they sell for about $15,000 each and um, there's no guarantee you're going to keep it alive. Okay, up to here, there's two more of these tendrily fins, one and another one behind it. Okay, now coming around here are some spikes. So they really do have the most amazing camouflage. Okay, now I'm going to just come around and mark where the, the lines are. So they're segmented to look even more like seaweed. Okay, that's my outline. If you're proud of your work, write your name on it. Okay, I'm ready to put some colour on. I'm going to start with my darkest colour. So I'm putting some spots on the fins. And when I come to painting it, I'm going to try and use my bleeding technique. So, because I know I'm going to watercolour paint over the top, just doing colour in a few spots, which will be my undercoat. Okay, ready for my lightest colour. I just want to accentuate that this is a round curved part.
You could be swimming and one of these goes past you and you didn't even realise. You just thought it was a piece of seaweed floating, which is exactly what it's going for. Okay, and finally I'm going to do my mid-tone, so I'm going to extend, extend it into those areas next to the dark spots, and the same mid-tone is going to be used to reinforce those stripes. Okay, I'm ready for watercolour paint. It looks quite good just at that stage. So, no I'm not, I'm going to go over my strongest lines in marker before I do watercolour paint. Forgot about that. The reason I'm doing this so it stands out more knowing I'm going to obscure it with another layer. So I don't want to lose this beautiful shape that I spent so long drawing. Obviously I'm extremely fast, don't try and match my speed. Voila. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take a medium sized brush, dip my brush into water and I'm going to make sure my shape is very very wet on the inside of those lines. The reason I'm doing it is I want to use a technique called bleeding. So I've wet this area. Have a look what happens. when I put paint on top. Actually, let me use a stronger colour so you can see. So what happens is the paint bleeds out along the lines I've created. It's a really subtle but beautiful and random technique. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and do the, the whole thing. Okay, here we go. I've, I've put, used the bleeding effect. I've coloured in all of my leafy sea dragon, if you wanted to. And you've got more than one colour, you can get a few colours going. If, not going to do it today, but you could also do the same thing with water. I'm going to leave mine just like that way. So there we have it, the leafy sea dragon. 
Don't forget to use the link on the PowerPoint tutorial to watch the story of Gavin Maleefy Sea Dragon. And when you post your artwork, I'd like you to comment and say one thing, one fact that you learned that was new that you didn't know before about marine creatures. Thank you.